All right, this video is for people who are trying to switch uh, their iTunes over from PC to Mac. I suppose it can work vice versa as well. This is going to focus on how to get your playlists from your PC side to work on the Mac. Uh, if you've tried it so far, you'll probably notice that it's not an easy task. And there's really not many answers, if anything, on the Internet. So I'm going to try to answer the questions for you. Um, if you're on the PC side, it'd be very similar to this. You're just going to go to your library, export playlist. I believe you actually got to choose one playlist at a time in order to do this. And then once you save that playlist, then you'd go over to your Mac side and you'd go to import playlist. Before we do that though, we're going to need to edit the file. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up our text edit and then we're going to find our playlist file alright so here's our playlist here this is playlist from the PC side here so let's open that and as you can see it's just uh, a bunch of link addresses well Mac doesn't like the way these addresses are so let's go ahead and open another let's open a Mac playlist And as you'll notice in the address, that's the address that the PC likes. And this here is the address that the Mac likes. So you basically need to switch all of them over so that they're readable. Another thing that you're going to notice is that PC uses these backslashes and Mac use, uses forward slashes. So those are going to be need, needed to be switched as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into find And we're going to do a find and replace. So what we want them to find is all of this here right before the name of the song. So we'll copy that and put that in the find. And then we'll copy this one here. and put that in the replace like so and then we're going to do a replace all there we go replace all and there we go it replaced all of the addresses here but what you're going to notice there is still some backslashes here that need to be switched so what we're going to do now, we're just going to tell it to find all those backslashes and switch it all to forward slashes. And we'll hit replace all. And then we'll save this as whatever you want to name it. Let's just uh, put it on d the desktop here and I'll just call it Playlist Mac Save. And then we'll take this and you want to change the name by adding dot m3u 
then it's going to ask you if you want to keep it. You want to use the M3U tag. And now we'll go into our iTunes here. Go to Import Playlist. Find this on the desktop. Hit Choose. It takes a little bit of time to process. And there we go. We've got our playlist. And it's reading just fine. There we go. There's all the songs. Go ahead and play the song just to show you. There you go. You've got your playlist from PC to Mac. And when you're in the replace and, and find in your text edit, you could open as many playlists as you want. And you could do the find and replace all at the same time. So that'll help as well. I hope this gives you a little bit of clarity and a way to solve this playlist issue.